there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and want to take a look at a cool little uh, launcher replacement that's come out. This is from HipLogic, it's called Spark, I don't actually have it set as the uh, launcher yet so that's why you saw me launch into it the way I did. And it's in beta right now so it's still pretty slow, it still has some bugs and they needed to work on it. But here you get the idea, so it's kind of a vertical scrolling waterfall type of thing, kind of like the slide, uh, slide screen that we saw earlier. But here's the deal. So you got weather up top, and you got a couple days worth, and you have three little launcher buttons there, messaging, email, and calendar. Now, if you're like me and you use Google Voice, messaging doesn't do you much good. Same thing for email, because I use Gmail. But you can change those out, and we'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Uh, let's see. Go back. And there's calendar. We all know what that does. Underneath that, we've got some news, and they pull in a whole bunch of news for you. That's kind of nice. And let's see, we'll just tap on one and see what we get. Cool, and you can launch it in the browser. See, I've got Finnick on there as well. And so they don't all open up. Some of them are just little summaries, but that's kind of a nice touch. I like having my news out there. And you can share them. You can share them over SMS or through Twitter and Facebook. When you first launch Spark, um, you get the option to sign into Facebook and or Twitter. So those are on there automatically. Here's where you can update your status. And you'll see you can choose whether you want to post to Twitter or Facebook or both at the same time, which is nice. I really like that. Swipe does not work on here, so <laughs> don't bother. It's really weird. Um, you know, swipe itself when you start moving around doesn't work. But you see here, if you just start typing, the keyboard itself works just fine. So again, it's in beta, there are some bugs. Now, just below that, You've got Twitter updates and Facebook updates. So we see how that works. You tap it and you get your Twitter stream. Only one account right now, so that's kind of worthless for me. But if you only have one account to worry about, there you go. Works nicely. Uh, really, it's kind of a nice UI. I, I like the whole just layout of the thing. The fonts are all nice. See, it tries to open them up in a browser. Uh, you know, you can see how slow it is. It's buggy. <laughs> and uh, you saw the cut in the video where we kind of had to relaunch it because it got stuck on that keyboard part. So that's that. You've got three buttons down at the bottom. You got phone, nice, and then you've got kind of a normal launcher. It scrolls horizontally, eventually. Again, slow, beta, needs work. So that's cool. And then you got your browser, nice. So let's go back and let's take a look at some of the settings we have. So you got general settings, and this is where you can change, uh, run, basically set it as the default launcher, so I've done that now. Manage the modules, so you can turn these on and off. If you don't want the Facebook module, you turn it off. That easy. There's the about page and some other standard stuff. Don't need to read the legal stuff. And let's see. Here's where you can change the uh, three little icons at the top. Although it doesn't work very well, because I'd like to change that to Gmail, and I can't. So, again, beta bugs. So, we're just taking a look at this to get the idea. Alright, never mind on that then. Uh, let's see. There you go, you can change how often things refresh, which is nice, because you don't want to suck the life out of your battery any faster than you have to. So that's it, that's a quick look at Spark, and we hope to see it out of beta soon. See ya.